Hey, this is Liz, and this is like take five. I don't know. We're going to watch the video from the Boomboonger press conference, and then we're going to go over some of the information we learned because Boomboonger is happening very, very, very quickly. King Osher is wrapping up. We learn a lot. We got the trailer. We got to learn about the characters. We're just getting going into it. Let's vroom, vroom right into it. Again, helmets. Ah, I don't know. I like the this like world, though, that they're in. I don't know if it's just where they're vehicles come from or what but seeing them rush off like that oh that's so good it, practical car practical car i love it all of it he's like a car designer or something we're gonna go over all of their stuff in a bit we got blue maybe a salesman informant guy oh we got pink she looks adorable she is whoop. That's what a driver. Mooks, uh, fun, but these baddies, I can't wait to talk about them a little bit more. He's like a dumb love person. She just wants to destroy things, and I want him as a pillow. The uh, toys and stuff are out. I'll have some links to them below, but this action just looks great. I love not just swords, but, you know, guns at least, a little more practical fighting. They're on roofs again. There's not... Oh, look at them. In the moment, not a green screen in sight until, obviously, they do all of that. Here we go. We got Black, the police officer, yet uh, potentially comic relief, has the different weapon, as you can tell. Uh, I love it. We got Orange right here. He looks fun with the sucker and the orange hair with the little top. I'll take that. Again, Different weapon reminding me a lot of Go Wander, not Go Wander, uh, Go Busters, a little bit with this, with the three two and with the different weapons, but they are all same. Part of the team, Pink has this swag. I don't even know what to think. Their shoes look like they belong to Sonic the Hedgehog, but I can't wait to see these vehicles in action. Practical suit, and we're gonna see a bit more of them Robo in action. Oh my gosh, so with the night scenes, that is so, so, so freaking good. I love it. He's ready. Umuja! It's March 2nd for us over in the U.S. And it's just coming boon here. Good at making curry. No. I made curry. There aren't subs, so I don't actually know what it says. But I'm going to guess that it said I made curry. Uh, we have to get to go over now. Yay! We're going to talk about all of the um, all of the people who are in the show. So we're just going to start with Boon Red. <coughs> uh, we've got Hondo Taya or Tire Hondo. Like, Hondo is like handle but tire is tire. Uh, a genius at development and remodeling who runs a delivery business in his bright red car. Pleasant smile. Underneath lies a passion greater than anyone else's. Uh, and then, so that was uh, Bernard Delta subs. And I'm also going to be going between them and at Soul Caesar on Twitter. Both of them. I'll have links, of course, below. Um, so Soul Caesar, uh, he's described as a reliable and trustworthy character, car modeler and car modder. He loves driving cars as well going up to blue we've got boon blue which is uh ishiro mita so mita like meter like car meters uh he's the informative car salesman of the main three he carries a lot of general knowledge that tire also comes to him for remember tire is the name of red uh he keeps things extremely professional i mean obviously look at that suit uh and in battle he's quick to find the enemy is weakness uh, so yeah when he's doing spy work he's usually dressed up smart in a suit he can be mean sometimes but is not actually a scary person so we're gonna go over to pink boon pink is shift mira or uh, i mean shift and then mira mirror so she's extremely bright and innocent has a tenacity to take off to places she finds interesting i completely relate to that because i tend to wander off She's also extremely skilled at driving and shouldn't be underestimated. It says she's also the adorable mood maker and I look forward to seeing her ever-changing facial expressions. Neat. We're going to move over to Black. Boom Black is Joe Axel. 
or Akuse, which is, looks like Excel. Uh, he's not part of the main three. He uses a different changer. He's a cop for the city and also shows comedic relief as things just tend to happen to them. Uh, so he dreams of being a hero to the people. He'll keep pressing onward with a passion hotter than anyone. Uh, he's an honest or an earnest, straightforward guy, but uh, his casual wear is pretty cute, which I'm very very much excited for so then we got the mysterious Ginba break is in a like, car break uh there isn't much actually revealed about him even his actor doesn't know too much about him which is funny he uses the same changer as black and isn't a part of the main three uh he's a supplier for an unknown company who manages to pop up in unexpected places just listen for his phrase how annoying but it does appear that he and Taya go way back so that is yeah now we're looking at like okay here we go so boom boom is the mecca and the mecca and the changer are going to be voiced by a matsumoto rika who's the voice of ash ketchum in pokemon so uh the robo is taya's friend who fights by his side uh is also amazing at cooking curry which we saw at the very end of that um a full throttle year it says is about to begin he lives with the main three inside of their base he's a friend to all of them and then the name boon boonger actually means like boon boon plus friends slash warriors uh he created the equipment with the help of tire and then he becomes a boon boonger robo when enlarged uh, a little bit about the baddies really really dub them uh dakoto ride uh, is voiced by Suabe Jinchi, member of the Great Cosmic Invasion Blitz Squad, Hashirian, who basically Hashirian is a, um, yeah, like, what do they say, mobsters, basically, like a gang. So we go, this guy, I love his hair, which is just like exhaust pipes, is he acts like a handsome, knowledgeable romantic lead, but is actually an idiot, yet you can't really hate him. That's, that's all I need, right? Itasha is going to be voiced by Mizuki Nana. Uh, is interested in various earthly things, plots to invade Earth by creating evil creatures. Pretty basic. Uh, will be Mizuki's first time acting in a TV Asahi Tokusatsu, and then please look forward to her manzai-like back and forth with Suabe. Suabe being the voice actor of uh, Dakota Ride, who is just, I just talked about him. And then the last one is right here. Yaya Yaruka. This thing, I am so freaking excited for this. It seems like it's going to be, it, it looks like there's the main two baddies and this is almost, and I've heard they're like, is that like their pet? Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, so Deko, Uta, and Yaru make three. It's this small and cute Yuruka, actually carries a sharp tongue. Even Dakota Ride and Itasha are taken back and we're thinking that could be the thing that actually makes them large size and, you know, giant for all of it. I think I am so excited for this between the preview and, and everything and learning about the characters. I, I'm very sad to see King Ojiro, obviously, but wow, this is really hitting it. You know, we, we had the off, I'm going to say the off seasons. We had the different seasons, right? We had Kira Major, which was great. And then, you know, we had um, Kikaiser or Kikaiser or whatever. And then we had... Um, we had Don Brothers, and then we had King Ozier, and these were very, very different Sentai, but they were all very good in their own way, uh, or just in general, they're really good, but I find it interesting that now we're kind of going back to that, like, okay, five, you know, humans at the start, they're all kind of together, and I know I didn't really talk about, like, the toys and stuff much, I, much, I do have the Changer on order from Toku Collectibles, if you didn't go check them out, they're the easiest place to buy Toku if you're located in the United States. It is all in English, includes shipping. It's all very easy and uh, ships right to you. It's, it's great. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag they can sponsor me. Uh, I buy stuff from them all the time. Anyway, so we are going to cut this. I hope you have enjoyed Boom Bozier, an inside look at it because it's coming very, very soon. March 2nd for those of you in the US right after <sighs> King Ozer ends. I'm so sad. Yet I am so ready. I'm going to edit this. Get it up to you. I hope you're having a great Saturday night. If you don't, I told you I love you. And I think you're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.